from the famous Satoshi Nakamoto studio in the metaverse, here it comes. It's what the NFT is going on. Today's lucky contestants are Average Joe. Come on down. Crypto Joe, come on down. And here's your host, Drew No Carey. Hey going everybody, welcome to the show. It's gonna be a great show today. We've got two super fired up contestants, am I right? Let's get started. So first up, first question, you have to identify what am I talking about? So here are the clues. What are we? We're worth a fortune, we don't seem to do anything, and no one over the age of 30 can understand why we're so popular. Oh, the Kardashians. Oh, not quite the answer we were looking for there, Average Joe. You were talking about NFTs. Correct. Our next question, what is an NFT? Now to help you, here's an example of an NFT. In fact, one of the first NFTs, a crypto kitty. So who can tell me what is an NFT? Well, that is a cute cat, Drew. So I think NFT must stand for nice, furry thing. Oh, that's not quite the answer we're looking for there, Average Joe. An NFT is a non-fungible token. It is a non-interchangeable unit of data stored on a blockchain. Exactly. Well done, Crypto Joe. Well, it sounds like an NFT is just the same as a screenshot. It is most certainly not. It is so much more than a screenshot. It's a digital certificate of authenticity. Really? Well, it still sounds like a screenshot to me. Not a screenshot. Okie dokie, our next game is guess the price of the NFT. Here is our first NFT. It's clip art of a digital rock from a series called Ether Rocks. They've been popular as NFT since 2017. But in August 2021, an unknown buyer paid the highest price ever for an Ether Rock. How much did they pay? Let me think. So it's a JPEG of a rock. So a screenshot of a rock, not a screenshot. Okay, so it's not a screenshot. So what is the right price for an NFT of a JPEG of a rock? Hmm. I think $5. Okay, Average Joe says the rock is worth $5. Crypto Joe, what do you think the rock is worth? I think it is worth $1,300,000. That is ridiculous. No one is paying a million dollars for a screenshot not a screenshot. Well, let's see who's right. The correct answer is $1,300,000. Congratulations, Crypto Joe. That can't be right. And we thought we were a ridiculous idea and we only cost $85. Drew, are you sure that NFT doesn't stand for no? Whoa there, Joe. No, I'm sure NFT stands for non-fungible token. Thanks for that. Let me see if I can help. Average Joe. The NFT market went from 13 million in 2020 to 41 billion in 2021. That's some amazing growth and it continues to grow exponentially in 2022. And why the growth? You see, NFTs are a critical part of Web3. Web1 was where we read the internet. Web2 now where we can read and write to the internet. Web3 is the third iteration of the internet. I know what you're thinking. The third movie in a trilogy is usually pretty bad. Look at Daddy Daycare. First movie, great, good premise, big star. By the time they got to the third movie in the trilogy, things had really fallen apart. Who even remembers Daddy Daycare 3? Granddaddy Daycare, what a stinker. But the third is not always the worst. Look at The Lord of the Rings, the third installment. The Return of the King is easily the best winning a record 11 Oscars. So, will Web3 be a granddaddy daycare or a return of the king? I think it's going to be a return of the king because in Web3, we can read, write, and own things in the digital world. Not only can we own things in the digital world, but our experience of the digital world will change from being two-dimensional to three-dimensional. This is what they call the metaverse the embodied internet. Everything we do on the internet, be it working, shopping or playing, will become a 3D experience over time. NFT tech is how we will own our digital assets in this new metaverse. NFTs are ownable digital things. 
If everything in the real world is owned by someone, it makes sense that everything in the metaverse will be owned by someone. Ultimately. NFT tech establishes proof of ownership of that digital file, be it a JPEG, a GIF, or even a piece of virtual land. This drives value by creating provable scarcity of the digital asset, just like in the real world. NFT stands for non-fungible tokens. What on earth is fungibility, I hear everyone say. Well put simply, something is fungible if it can be replaced by another identical item. This $20 note is fungible. It's identical to every other $20 note. But this drawing that I did of an alien is non-fungible. It is unique. There is not an identical artwork like this anywhere. Thankfully. So a non-fungible token is a unique item. Now there are six categories of NFTs. One, flex clubs. Two, art. Three, collectibles. Four, twinning. Five, gaming. And finally, six, corporate marketing NFTs. And frankly, this is where the NFTs become relevant for everyone, not just crypto lovers, as big brands are really starting to embrace the NFT phenomenon. We will learn more about each of these categories over the next few rounds. But if you want to know how big NFTs will be, Look at what is happening in the gaming world. There are now play to earn platforms where gamers can earn money just by playing the games. They are the first metaverse workers. Average Joe, maybe you can monetize some of your kids' screen time by turning them into metaverse workers. This has been Enlightened. Hey kids, no more school for you. I want you on one of those play to earn platforms Mitten NFTs. But Dad, they're just screenshots. They are not just screenshots. Thank you for watching this episode of What the NFT is Going On. Please watch our other episodes to learn everything you need to know about NFTs.